everyone, my name is Oda. Today I'm going to teach you about verbs. <coughs> a verb is an action or a doing word. If you want to identify a verb, ask yourself, can you do it? The in form of a verb. So, there are various ways of finding the in form of a verb. One is to just add in. Like add in. Add plus in is adding. Eat plus in. Eating. Help plus in. Helping. Dream plus in. Dreaming. Now let's teach you about drop e. When we have a a word that ends in e, drop the e and add the ing. Such as write plus in equals to writing. Care plus in equals to caring. Taste plus in equals to tasting. The last letter is doubled. Like in drop plus in, you have a double P, not an only a single P. Same in jogging and grinning. A helping verb is a verb ending in ing. A verb ending in ing, sorry, not that. A verb ending in ing cannot be used without the help of a helping verb. A helping verb Helping verbs are am, is, are, was, were, has, and have. So, there are three tenses. The tense of a verb shows the time when something happens or happened. Present tense, past tense. The present tense of some words like run, go, and send. Present tense is usually the base form. And let's find the past tense of each of those present tense words. Runs past tense is run, goes past tense is went, sends past tense is sent. Difference. So we can form the past tense in different ways. And one way is by adding d or ed. You add d when the word add already ends in e or ed when it doesn't end in d e e like equals to likes show equals to show they use the first rule the second rule is doubling the last letter then adding ed fan double n ed hot double p ed knit double t ed Try dropping the Y at the end and adding IED. Cry, cry, try, try, fry, fry. Four, by changing its form in other ways or completely changing it. Fly, flew, tear, tore, lend, lent, fight, fought. So that's the way of the part of the past and present tense. The present tense is easy enough to understand. It's what we do now. So we can say, I am walking. And that's in the present tense. And now I'm going to teach you about the future tense. When a verb refers to future time, it is said to be in the future tense. Examples are, she will play, I shall go, and, she, and he will fall. So the main verb in those examples are play, go and fall. The helping verbs are will and shall. No, and is included, of course. Will, shall are the other. And I'll tell you a rule about will and shall. Will is used for other persons exempt from yourself. And shall is used only for yourself. If you will, I and want to write it in the future, you should shall. If you want he, she, they, or that, anything like that, you write with. But if, remember, there are some exceptions. Us or we includes you, so you write shall. Thank you for listening.